Hello folks, uh, and welcome to a video I've been meaning to make for the last few weeks now. It is a little bit late. Um, it is our trusty Land Yacht 2 year update. Um, so I just want to keep this fairly short, but uh, still give you guys an idea um, of what's been going on with this car. Uh, most recently, you'll have seen me fitting a uh, tow bar kit and electrics to the vehicle. That'll be in preparation for uh, using it for some work that I'm doing here around the uh, home, but also uh, with some more EV specific uh, reasons for needing a tow bar uh, coming down the line hopefully later this year. But uh, more to the point, in the intervening uh, two years now, uh, I've been using this car as my daily driver. It um, typically drives anything from around 350 to 500 miles per week. Uh, mostly motorway, probably about 80% motorway, 20% back roads. Um, charge it at night here at the house uh, using nitrate electricity. Uh, usually, depending on where I'm going, anything from 50 to 60% of the battery capacity is used. Um, where, uh, what can I say? I mean, I've now just gone over slightly over 41,000 miles uh, since converting it to electric drive. Um, only ever had one breakdown, which occurred uh, this year, and the car broke down right here outside the house uh, because I'd... Um, Hadn't really used the right gauge of wire in part of the charging system, and it had just burnt out. I uh, kind of considered myself quite lucky um, that I had used enclosures and insulation and stuff uh, that basically protected me from um, having a nasty fire. So we got that fixed, and uh, the car has been really glitch-free since. Um, you know, a lot of people kind of wondered at the time why I was converting a car like this. Well, reason is that, well, one of the reasons uh, was that I wanted to see if a really big, you know, a big old boat like this uh, would be feasible to um, to convert to battery electric. And uh, it certainly seems to have been. Um, it's a very it's a very comfortable car. Um, heater is absolutely perfect. Everything works. The power steering, the brakes, you know, everything just works in this in this car for me. Uh, it's going to be needing a new set of tires fairly soon. Uh, we've had two years out of the, uh, that set, which I would be quite pleased with. Um. It's sailed through its um, NCT tests. Had no pro problems at all in that respect. Uh, it's cheap to tax. It's enjoyable to drive. And I think for me anyway, uh, represents a lot of the reasons uh, for converting a vehicle to electric uh, propulsion um, so yeah just as I say <laughs> not really a lot uh, in this particular video it's just more of a a kind of an update check-in kind of a thing just to let you guys know that um, this car is you know it's still you know I don't think they're ever really fully finished um, but this one's probably about 99.99% finished. Uh, we did last year play around with the DC fast charging. Um, as you'll be aware if you followed the videos from then. 
Um, I've since removed that particular system from the car um, due to the fact that uh, the voltage um, that we're running here just didn't seem to be compatible with the vast majority of the uh, charging stations. So we'll be installing the charging socket um, back into the Panzer fairly soon and uh, looking at a control system for for that but that's another uh, day's work as the saying goes um, so that's it guys really um, this car you just turn it on you know put it in gear drive it on uh, bring it home park it plug it in that's it um, maintenance has been as I say practically non-existent the only regular thing that I do is I just top up this green wash bottle so thank you for uh, staying with me on my various projects I hope you're enjoying the projects that I'm currently working on um, hopefully get to uh, bring some more of them to conclusion and um, who knows maybe start some mo mo more and um, in the meantime guys um, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing and we'll be back soon thank you